My name is Lawrence Tete. I'm an evangelist and a canon, honorary canon of the Anglican Church. I want to bring to your attention that we need to repent. We need to repent today like never before. We have all sinned against God in our own ways. And we are playing leaps in churches. From the pastors to the politicians, to our world leaders, to our intellectuals, we've all lived our own way. As a matter of fact, like the scientists, we've all become very immoral and blasphemous to the things of God. But now, there's a wake-up call for us to know that we need to turn to God in a massive united front to let the Lord know that we are sorry for our trespasses and our sins. There's a scripture that everybody is using today, and that is 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, which says, If my people who are called by my name who humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked way, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins and heal the land. And every time I've spoken about this message, I've looked at seven key points. Number one, humble yourself. Number two, pray. And I said some time ago that a prayerless man is a powerless man. A man who does not pray, does not know God. The Bible says, read your Bible, pray every day. Read the word of God and pray every day. Third one is that we should seek the face of God. We are depending on our own understanding and we think we know it all. And that is how we've allowed this enemy to infiltrate into the camp. From America to all parts of the world, including an African community. The fourth thing is that turn from our wicked ways. And that is my biggest challenge. We become very wicked, vindictive and destructive. And today, modern day social media is even helping people to destroy people more. We undermine people's integrity. We become so jealous. We become so petty. We become so destructive. And in undermining people's prestige and their integrity, we don't know that that is a wicked way. So selfishly centered that we do things that we don't have to do to other people. People have so much and they don't even give. So people are living on so much wealth and others are just dying in hunger. But if we can turn from our wicked way, then God will hear from heaven, forgive our sins and heal the land. And I want you to know that because he lives, we can face tomorrow. The song composer said, I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. Me. I pray for every leader who is listening to me today. I pray for people from all walks of life who are listening to me today. And I said, let's turn from our wicked way. Search through your heart. Go into the secret place of your heart and find where you have fallen short of this way. Turning from our wicked way. In our own small ways, let us repent. And it's only through repentance that God will restore our land. Remember, this pandemic we are going through, people have gone through before. How did they come out of it? Just the way God took us out of cholera, took us out of malaria, took us out of HIV and hepatitis, took us out of Ebola and many other deadly viruses. God will also take us out of COVID-19. But what is next? After COVID-19, what is next? We should think about the aftermath. And that is what we should be praying about. That yes, we know COVID-19 now, but we don't know what is next. I pray in the name of Jesus that you come to that place where you will turn from that wicked way, from the very depth of your heart. What are in the secret places of your heart? What are the things you want to turn out of? I pray in the name of Jesus that God will bless you, God will heal you, God will deliver us of us, and God will give us a heart of repentance so that as we all repent and we come together in a massive united front, we will seek the face of God. And like your Knox will say, God, give us our various nations, else we die. I pray for every president around the world, I pray for even president of Oman Ghana and I pray for all the leaders around the world that they will come to that place where they will know that science has no solution, politics has no solution, medics has no solution, pharmaceutical has no solution, but the solution is in the hands of God. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord make his face shower upon you. And remember, it is only through prayer and repentance and turning away from our wicked ways that will bring the healing. God bless you. Once again, my name is the Reverend Dr. Canon Lawrence Tete. I'm an evangelist and also an honorary canon of the Anglican Church, which is also known in the UK as the Church of England.
God bless you. Hallelujah. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that those of us who have believed in you, you will not let us down. I pray that you have never let us down before. You have been our source of inspiration in the time past. And there is no shred of doubt at all in our heart that you will be our hope for the days to come. I pray in the name of Jesus that every man, every woman who is believing you for a testimony, let it happen. And God, heal our land and let your will be done in our lives. Let us experience your glory and above all things bring us together in a massive united form. I pray for divine purpose, divine unity and divine intervention. And we know God, only you can do it. God bless everybody listening to me richly. And I say, God, we rely on only you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, people of God. Good morning, Ghana. I'm Mrs. Rita Micah, and I serve in the Reigning Family Church. I just want to express my profound gratitude to be part of this move, to be part of this wave in this organization that we are praying as a country, as a nation for repentance. I think this is the way to go. And we started three days ago. Today is the third day. And I believe that the Lord, what he has started, he will complete it. We have been talking about repentance. And our anchor text in 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14, it says that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin. And like we have learned in the past few days, we have learned that this um, process of repentance has three or four major things, which is humbling, praying, seeking the face of God. And the fourth one, which we are really emphasizing on, is to turn from our wicked ways. It means that there cannot be a total repentance if the aftermath of that repentance or that remorse is not changed. Hallelujah. Again, in Luke chapter 15, verse 17, where we talked about, we, we, we heard about the prodigal son or read about the prodigal son who went about spending everything that his father gave him. And the verse 17 is something that strikes me so much. The Bible says that when he came to his senses, so it means that repentance, if we want to truly repent, it means there has to be a place of self-introspection. There has to be a place of self-examination. There has to be a place of, of, of thinking, actually admitting that, Father, we have gone astray. We have gone wayward. We have to acknowledge our sin. And this is what we want to do. After he has come to his senses, he confessed. He said that, ah, how many of my father's servants have so much to spare? I will arise and go to my father and tell him that, Father, I have sinned against you in heaven. Therefore, make me your servant. Now, the thing is that he came to his senses first. He confessed and then he changed his ways. Like we have already been told, it is a 180 degrees change of ways. So we want to pray this very moment that, Father, we acknowledge our sin. We acknowledge our greediness. Before this time, we felt that we were in charge. Before this time, we felt that it's my money. I am earning. I am working. It's my own. This is my stuff. That is your stuff. But COVID-19 came to tell us by the hand of God that no, God still rules in the affairs of men. And that is one thing that Christ is, one positive thing I like about Christ is because it makes you come to a standstill. It makes you think that was what happened to the prodigal son. After everything has been squandered, he now came to his senses. When there wasn't food and there was hunger, he now thought that, mm, there was something better with my dad, I could go back. This is where we have to come as a country. 
as a country that lord this COVID-19 that has come there is a better thing with you let's go back to to the lord let's acknowledge our sins let's acknowledge our greediness let's acknowledge our fornications let's acknowledge our idolatry our, our our accepting bribes and all let's acknowledge it and ask for the help of the lord we want to pray father forgive our wicked our waywardness father forgive our weaknesses father forgive our, our greeds Father, forgive everything that we have done as a country, as an individual. Father, forgive me in the name of Jesus. Secondly and lastly, we want to pray. Now, after you come to your senses and you've decided to follow the Lord, it doesn't just come with willpower. It's not just about making the decision. It's about following, following it through and through, and it takes the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in Philippians 2 verse 13, it says that, For it is God, not your strength, but it is God who effectively works in you, both to will and to work and for his good pleasure. So it is God who can enable us to still keep this relationship, to still keep our relationship from faltering with him. So we want to pray that, Father, create in me a long-lasting ability to be able to fulfill your purpose, to be able to stay away from sin as I have repented. Lord, give me a long-lasting uh, um, um, desire and longing for you that i will stay away from sin i will turn away indeed from all my wicked ways we have done all that is humanly possible we have washed our hands and everything but it is god who can help us when he comes into the picture it is god who can help us as we turn away from our sins it is god who can help us so you just want to pray that lord help me Give me the grace, give me the strength to be able to follow through and through as I have changed from my ways, I have as I have repented of my sin. Give me the willpower to be able to follow you and please you every day of my life in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we pray for ourselves, we pray for the nation of Ghana. We pray, oh God, that Father, you give us the grace the grace to be empowered in our will to follow you through and through to the letter in the name of jesus as we have repented of our evil ways let it not be said of us that we have gone back to our vomit like israelites did they would sin they would come repent in us clothes and then go back to their sin father let it not be said of ghana as we have repented let it be repentance indeed true repentance so thy kingdom come so you come and meet your church spotless and blameless in the name of jesus father we thank you we bless your name for your mercy we bless your name for your goodness we bless your name for your kindness, O oh God, that, Lord, indeed, you have forgiven us and you have granted us the grace to be able to follow you through and through in Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you. I look back up church, you may have jet, and church for my belly, you know, woman, Emma. Eh, a Saka Kaya, and a Saka Cafe Via la Bena, near Tommy Nabe, Le, a door now, Mela, Yapa door now, and now a Gapomo, me, a mere Tonko Pomia do Kyoji. Eh, Gakele, and Yaka, and Yaba Yima, Maule, and Yadet, the Fiamfila, and Yabe Megan of Bromia, I throw the door for a bow. Ke bonu ike i dicho mi ansi ni be mi a trova i bomba mi a du ko me vio kata du plola kata mi a a trova mau bomba ele mi trova i mau bomba la ke i a demo le do na o le do ni o kata a buna bi le du ko ame e a ta na ko le mi a mi a pon kumi fila. But I came here, the dinner, I 
a hakura bobua, Napa Joma, a Germania, a Pia, a Pia Siabe, the Penny Lebemia Hamia, a troll and Napa Joma, a mere troll, the Mau Bo, the Gaya Omeha. This is your Pia Sebe, like me, the Miape, a Hamavio, Plombado, Gabu Siame. There were nine Yoka Tan by Imela, Napa. I'm a popular neck and may or chicken me at ten chicken. I'm a popular cock and maupe and yako nami mu. At a maul of the teacher mea and hackle lao, a perchet for laga towns in a bed, mea ah meao ha. Mea throw by ye go a maul go to via yes to firm come. Eh, let me throw by ye, ye go a bola, ke a ha av monami. And I've been a maul of a piacho miasibe. I have a question, or a young to me, I'm a geoman. But let me up, I'm a popular lady in Maha. And let me throw the Maubola, Kaeha, I throw the Miabo, Ewa, Monami, let me up a chest for more. And let me throw the Miabo, let me throw me up a Maubola, Abuna Monami, let Don Yapatam, Yata, like a Bosiamela. I'm Piacho Mia to my daughter Sierra Bobe. Why, I don't blame. I ever human. I bear my own affair. Me, ye, you get with your mea woe. The lake can be put on a mea per hammer view. New York, you are dead, you see, Nami. Bear a jemia troller bola. Mamutone, better me out. Bear me out to me, I'm a siamme. Mea troll, what Yehoa, Maubo, the via Jesus Christ of Pancome. Be a way in Mau Babbe, a woman be me a hour dossier, la won't come, la Yesu Christo won't come. I may be a bear, but Bossy cannot, a pet of Yesu Christo G, a will call what to a pepper pepper, now did it bobo, now did it bobo coquesia, the mere dome, a half roller de sia de G, ye ye, a now did it bobo coquesia, there to come of your catangi, ye ye, Bena, now cata, mere dejacy be. No banter, si can be a wall, and then you are true. Va, you are born. Tamapia, oh, you are, oh, but now, Aperemion, you are true. A ball, a meal, for me, a woman now, a meal, piano for the chocolate, a winter now, or Dolemiaji, a meal, a town, a claw, me up a claw, me up a hammer tall, the winter, or mochi, a beer, and a war, a sia, not to copper, or ha, or war ha, or temple, to come with you, a womoji. When I do cost you a catan, I will trust you. I hear a pen of pen, Amen. If my people who are called by my name, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. And turn away from their wicked way. Then will I forgive them their sin and heal their land. If my people, if my people, if my people, if my children, if the believers, if the Christians who are called by my name will humble themselves, will submit themselves to me, will submit themselves to the world, will humble and submit themselves to the world and pray. And pray and give voice to the world. And pray and pray and give voice to the world. And seek my face. Have intimate relationship with me. Have fellowship with me. Seek my face. Be at the secret place. Commune with me. Have fellowship with me. And turn away from their wicked ways. And be doers of the word, not hear us only. Be doers of the word. Be doers of the word. Be pure. Be holy. Be men of integrity. Living by the word. Turn away from their wicked ways. Live the kingdom way. Then will I forgive their sins. Then will I forgive their sins and heal their land. And heal their land. When they do these things, 
They don't need to come to me to tell me to heal their land. Then I will heal their land. 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 Then I will heal their land. My, my people are telling me to heal their land. But they are not prepared to humble themselves to me. They are not prepared to submit to me. They, they are not prepared to submit to the word. They are not prepared. They are not prepared. They are not prepared. They are not prepared to pray. They are not prepared to give voice to my word. They are not prepared to spend time with me. They are not prepared to have fellowship with me. They are not prepared to be at the secret place. They are not prepared to commune with me. And they are not prepared to turn away from their wicked way. They are not prepared. They are not prepared to live by the word. They are not prepared to be men and women of integrity. They are not prepared to be holy and pure. They are not prepared to live the kingdom life. They are not prepared. They are so much in love with the world and the things of the world. They are not prepared to turn away from their wicked way. Yet, they are telling me to heal their land. Healing of the land is not an issue. Forgiving them their sin is not an issue. I said if they do their part, the forgiving them and the healing of their land, automatically I will do it. Turn away from your wicked ways. Any way that is contrary to my way, any way that is contrary to the way, is your wicked way. Any way, any way that is contrary to my word, I said is your wicked way. For Jesus said he is the way. The word is the way. Jesus is the way. Any way contrary to the word is part of your wicked ways. It, it may sound very intellectual. It may look good. It may bring some results. The way may feel good. Man will applaud it. But if it is contrary to my word, it is your wicked way. For Jesus, the word said, he is the way. In everything, there is my way. In the area of finance, there is my way. In the area of morality, there is my way. In the area of everything in life, there is my way. For my word spout out my way. Jesus is the way. The word is the way. The word is the way. The word is the way. Be ye holy, be pure. One of a kind. Don't be a chameleon. Be pure. One of a kind. In the secret place and in the open. In the marketplace, wherever you find yourself. Be pure. Be holy. Be pure. Be holy. Live by the way. Live by the way. If you turn from your wicked way, then will I. Then will I. Then will I. Then will I. Then will I forgive you your sin and heal the land. Thank you.